So what we have here is ST2700 Sutner gun. I believe this is the SS model, even though it doesn't say SS on it. From everything I read, yeah, they could be different. But I know this has stainless steel components on the inside. And for the gun build, you will need any type of, you don't have to use a swivel, but I prefer a swivel. This is a Mosmatic 3838. This is an NPT fitting on the end and then you got your quarter uh quarter inch uh this is from amazon um oh, i'm sorry three eighths i don't even know why i said quarter um <clears throat> and then um right now i don't have i have on order um a quarter um quick connect that will go on the end here i'm not putting a lance on here i was thinking about maybe doing a foot but you know i've got four feet on my other uh wash gun and i can switch in between the two so uh, it's not a problem but this will be actually really nice to have in my work vehicle because again it's got a small footprint and just like my other gun uh, which is Sutner, I can't remember the number. It's the, like the bluish, purplish one. Um, it's three years old. It still works great though, so. Yeah, long story short, I need another tripod because this is just uh, a little ridiculous. Yeah, I've got my uh, Teflon tape here. Uh, this stuff, I like it better than the old style white stuff. And always, uh, if I can remember, should go on this way, I believe. How many times do you guys like to wrap yours around? Four times? Three times? I don't know. Let's see. I'm just gonna get this finger tighten. I do have my channel locks here. Not channel locks. You know what I mean. Okay. Tape needs to go the same way it went before. And you know, you could use quick connect like uh, most people use it that way you know um i used to work for a heavy machinery company and um we could we had the opportunity to build our own guns basically uh, i was an entry-level mechanic at the time when i was a young man 19 years old it's about 20 years ago and we they let us build our own guns. We had Hotsey machines. We had two of them. And that's where I figured out how to pressure wash at. And it wasn't until, seems a little, seems a little long, but it's, it's not. Um, I have this exact same one on my other gun. And if you've seen that other, the first video, in the, Yep, it'll get tighter too. Of course, I don't have that other piece yet, but yeah. And then I'm gonna get a Davidson uh, shooter tip. I wanna get one of the, the, the two coupler. I can't remember what the hell you call them. I have a, uh, a Gen 2 X-Jet, and it's made for um, a three gallon per minute machine or something like that, between three and four or something like that. But I use it on the four gallon minute per machine. 
uh, even when I had a two and a half gallon permit machine, which I still have, it worked just fine on that too, because I wasn't downstreaming. Now, I just ordered a, a downstream bypass injector. I, I did originally order one from Russ uh, Johnson uh, down in uh, Southside Equipment, uh, but I canceled that and I just ordered also a 19 inch classic whisper wash from him that I am very excited to get because I've been using these crappy Simpson ones and they're not crappy. They're just, I had one break on me recently and I didn't get a whole lot of use out of it. So in that, in that opinion, it's crappy. Um, but yeah, then I, I ordered, uh, one of the bypass injector like mounts from, uh, flow pro, uh, solutions, uh, shout out to Mike. I can't ever say pronounce your last name correctly, but the fresh rents, uh, he's down in the Cincinnati area. I'm in the Columbus area. But uh, I just texted him about some things that I couldn't remember what website I seen them on. And he led me to the right path. And I appreciate that. And, it, and he also has a service agreement. If um, you text him, at, and all you have to do is put like terms and conditions or service agreement, uh, terms and conditions, he'll send you the whole thing. And then you just have to take out his uh, business's name and put your business's name in. And I have used it all this year uh for pressure washing uh and it kind of covers my butt so um but yeah i want to give a huge shout out to i don't know if it's kamardi or i can't ever say I, I don't know how to pronounce your name but i appreciate it again uh mike the fresh rinse so and with that uh i think i'll be out i don't know if i'll actually put you know uh a video of me putting this on i think it's a little ridiculous but yeah once i get all that stuff in the mail i am super stoked and th that uh downstream injector um i like the layout of the one that the flow pro solutions had so i ended up buying that it was more expensive but it doesn't look like i'll have to change uh the configuration of it the way i wanted it out and then i'll be able to mount that uh, to my trailer because I have been lugging around pressure washers for the last three years and I've had a trailer for two of it. I just never had enough money or time to put it all together and that's what I'm building out now because I'm tired of lugging stuff around. Um, I didn't get my first reel until last year, you know, so uh, and I just have that for the high pressure hose and eventually uh, obviously I'll have a, a, a long uh, a hose reel for the garden hose. And I think I'm, I was going to just get a, a nice hose reel, but I don't even think I'm going to, I think I'm just going to get one of the cheap ones off of Amazon. It's a hundred bucks. You know, I just spent like 1500 bucks, you know, with all the different things I bought. And honestly, I was half tempted to go out and get one of the little surface max uh, surface cleaners for one as a backup. Uh, and for two, um, to have it. And again, I had my, uh, little red cap on my cat pump on Wednesday break. Uh, so I just didn't carry on. And I was in the middle of washing, uh, a pretty long driveway and the pressure wash, excuse me, the Simpson surface cleaner had been broke the whole time. And, it, and it's actually moving, uh, the, uh, bar is moving away from where you put your gun into it. Um, and I've had two, this is my second one and I haven't had this happen, but I had get, I got it to work, uh, by using a, a ball valve and slowly opening it up and it eventually worked at this other job. And I, I should have replaced it a long time ago. I've wasted so many hours. I mean, the, the one job earlier this year, I had to basically do most of it. it was a patio in the back and a long sidewalk all the way that led to the drive walk, driveway and I did uh, the first quarter of the driveway all that long walkway and the patio in the back all by hand. I mean uh, I, I used a turbo nozzle and I used my X-Jet and that and you know, I put post treated I pre-treated and post treated which I'll do that anyway but 
you know, uh, it's very discouraging. Then I finally got the surface cleaner to work. And it's like, I, I just, I don't want to deal with it anymore. And then on top of that, I would like to have a smaller uh, surface cleaner just for like steps and little front porches and stuff like that. Instead of dragging up the 19 inch uh, whisper wash up there, you know. And it, I know it's a little oversized for a four gallon per minute machine, but I mean, what am I, what am I supposed to do? I mean, 15 inches, the Simpson one, with the steel deck is way bigger than two and a half gallons. And then I was just watching, uh, excuse me, I was just watching Pink Flamingo the other day and his buddy was, yeah, I know, I get the math. He was using a 5.5 on a Aqua Force and I can't remember the size of an Aqua Force, but um, I can't remember if it's 23 inches or Aqua Force, Whisper. See if it comes up. 24 inches with a five and a half, five and a half gallon per minute machine. So I understand the, you know, the math works out there. Um, you know, kind of. But uh, yeah, it's whatever. I could have just got the 16 inch uh, little whisper wash, but you know, it's not rated for higher than. I think six gallons per minute. And, um, you know, it, I was even thinking about this. I'm gonna keep my two and a half gallon on the trailer. And then I was even thinking about siamesing them together. Uh, you know, I don't know how well that would work, but that's one thing. And I was gonna keep my two and a half on the, on the trailer anyways, as a backup, just in case I can't finish a job. And you know something happens with the four gallon per minute machine now nah, really i the next four gallon per minute machine i'm going to get i'm going to get a remote start at least if not get you know like a gear reduction have a five and a half uh gallon per minute machine but even then it's just like gosh i just go with the eight and i i really think i i should with all the prices of all this stuff jumping up super high in the last few years you know I went down to the around the Cincinnati area and I picked up that four gallon per minute Honda. And I think, you know, they're like between, you know, like $1,400 new and I paid 800 bucks for it, which I thought was a little high, but it had like 20 hours on it. Um, and then I put an hour meter on it. So I know exactly how many hours are on it. Um, I just, I don't know. I remember, I told the kid, I said, I remember when these things were $800 and that might've been three, four or five years ago, but whenever I was looking at them, they weren't terribly expensive. So anyway, thanks again. Uh, once I start getting some of the stuff in the mail, uh, and putting it together, I will make some more videos. You guys take care. Peace.